Hey guys, what's going on? Met the Caveman Q here again for Paleo Problem Long Island and MetTheCaveman.com. Today's question is, should you be using styrofoam products? I'm the Caveman! And the answer is... Absolutely not! No! We've talked about the concerns of environmental exposures to various things, but plastics in particular, generally, not a good thing. Moving past the fact that polystyrene, the chemical compound behind styrofoam, has been associated with carcinogenic and estrogenic activity. Wait, no, we're not moving past that. Let's be very clear on that. The use and consumption of polystyrene has been associated with carcinogenic or the development of cancer and estrogenic activity, meaning it can disrupt your hormones. No good. But to make matters worse, it's very designed is problematic if you're using it with oils. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's just say you decided, I'm gonna go and make bulletproof coffee. Don't do that, we've talked about that already. But let's just say you're adding MCT oil in general to your coffee. Well, as soon as that MCT makes contact with that styrofoam, it's going to start dissolving it. And while it may not dissolve it outright, it's gonna start leaching into your coffee and now you've contaminated your coffee, you'll be drinking that styrofoam. But in some cases, depending on how much you add, it might eat right through it, and now you have some burning hot coffee right on your lap, particularly given the heat of the coffee. Heat speeds the reaction. Yay for chemistry and physics. The reason being, that styrofoam and that MCT, they are both nonpolar solvents. Styrofoam is excellent with polar solvents, things like the water or the coffee, generally. However, adding in that oil, no good. Even more so than that. Let's say you decide, okay, I'm going to have a healthy lunch, but the place uses styrofoam containers. I'm going to have a salad, and I'm going to throw some olive oil on it. And provided it's actually olive oil, it's a whole other conversation. The fact of the matter is, those long-chain fatty acids, even worse. So you add that healthy oil to your salad, and now you're again, you're leaching that styrofoam into your food. No good. So what should you be using instead? Well, if we're talking about that coffee, you should be using metal or glass. A quality thermos, or like you see me, I use the mason jar. Glass isn't going to interact with any of it. It's not going to interact with the coffee. It's not going to interact with the MCT oil. You'll be all right. If we're talking about traveling with food, again, glass potentially, but if you're afraid it's going to break, it's like paper and cardboard aren't a terrible idea, maybe a metal box, any of those are going to be much better ideas than styrofoam. Now, I know this should be a pretty straightforward one, but you'd be surprised how often people go and grab it. Maybe it's convenient. Maybe where you work stocks styrofoam coffee cups. Throw them out. Get rid of them. So your biggest takeaways are that no, you absolutely should not be using styrofoam. Styrofoam, no good. Potentially going to disrupt your hormones. Potentially you're going to have carcinogenic activity. So health-wise, absolutely not. Add in the use of fats and the potential to dissolve that styrofoam, and now you're going to be consuming it. Definitely not a good idea. So either way, hopefully it helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Prime Long Island and of course over at TheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful your day. Throw out the styrofoam responsibly. And I'll see you tomorrow. Answer is just eat real food. That's the I'm way to try. Make that good.